I'm Kurt Loder with MTV News. English cult star Morrissey has abruptly canceled his April 8th concert in Los Angeles and his April 11th and 12th shows at New York's Carnegie Hall because a spokesman says his band has not had sufficient time to rehearse. New York shows have been rescheduled for September 19th and 20th, and the L.A. date at the Olympic Theater is now on for September 30th. Tickets for the canceled shows will be honored. In more rock news, Boston radio station WFNX and local magazine The Boston Phoenix joined forces once again last week to mount their annual Music Poll Benefit concert, which this year drew such acts as Beck, Possum Dixon, In Spiral Carpet, Sheryl Crow, and Crash Test Dummies. Here's a wrap-up. All these like condoms thing, people grabbing them and stuff. Yeah. We uh, take the money from uh, tonight's um, you know show, and we donate it to the AIDS Action Committee and also the Multicultural AIDS Coalition. Jump, jump, jump so high, watch me let you down. It seems so small to just play a concert and turn your money over when everything else is going on with it, but it's an extremely important issue for us. It always has been. The annual WFNX Music Festival raised $25,000 for local AIDS charities. With 19 bands playing five venues in one night, it was a big night out for new artists and their fans. I just can't even talk about it. It was just so intense and like, we're just like, uh... no, it's fine. It was great. You know? it's doing our thing. We do it every night, you know. Hey, 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 hey. Well, you must be my lucky star. Cause you shine on me wherever you are. I think everyone was as drunk as we were. Gonna so. fall the money, fall the money. Gonna go to what, go to what. While some new acts like Beck were working out some technical kinks, longtime backup singer turned soloist Cheryl Crow had her loose ends all buttoned up. We're road hard now. We know about those technical difficulties. We just drink more and smoke more. Part of the fun for fans at the FNX concert is trying to see as many bands as humanly possible. We were at a bar until the third act and we missed the proclaimers. We're so depressed. You can go from one venue to another to another to another and see bands that basically you'd have to wait a year to see. We rented a limo and everything for this. We didn't want to miss this. Break it up. Well, the thing is, it's to go see Beck, man. Pretty much, go see Beck. And if we can see them, then that's pretty much our night is fulfilled. The one and only Beck. That show raised $25,000 for age research and support. That's the news for now. We'll be back with more later here on MTV. MTV News. You hear it first.